All right, everybody, Robert Jurdy here, your guide to the world of pop culture, particularly comic books and video games. And today we're talking about one of my favorite properties of all time. Uh, now, full disclosure, I'm going to reveal my age a little bit. Back in high school, we would always drive up to Austin over the summer. Uh, we'd spend the day there, and we'd go to cool places like Magnolia Cafe or Toy Joy. And on Guadalupe Street, there was this place, and I don't know what it's called now. It was a second story, and it was kind of tucked away a little bit, kind of hidden. And you'd go up there, and you could play multiplayer versus your friends and they would have a table set up and four computers and it was like 15 bucks for half an hour and you could play doom 2 against each other it was the first time i'd ever played multiplayer against a friend it was so much fun and we would do it all the time and that was one of the that was the first time i'd ever played versus someone a living person and uh man it was so much fun it was so much fun such great memories of doom so now, of course, you know, I was a fan of Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3, the BFG edition, and then 2016 Doom came out, and it really changed the game, changed the game and changed the game, uh, in regards to its mechanics and its fun, sort of vibrant, uh, you would have different colored power-ups that would affect different things, and... Um, and for, the, for those of you that are uh, uninitiated to the world of Doom, Doom, so Doom is essentially the story of the Slayer, or the Doom guy, as he traverses heaven and hell to stop the invading demon horde armies from taking over Earth. And armed with a shotgun and varying degrees of weapons, including a BFG and frag grenades, ice grenades, all kinds of stuff, um, stopping swarms of demon monsters from taking over. It's a lot of fun, and Doom 2016 really upped the ante in regards to things like the game mechanics with um, some jumping, different jumping, and some glory kills, and Doom Eternal really picks up that mantle and takes it another step. Uh, in fact, it really opens up the mechanics. You have not only the double jumps, but you've got more acrobatic moves. There's poles you can swing off, walls you can kind of hulk onto and climb. And then uh, the coolest thing I think so far is the dash meter. You've got a dash button that kind of propels you forward. So you can do all these amazing platformer moves like double jump, double jump, dash, dash to get to different places. So it's pretty fun. It's also got a new upgrade on the shotgun uh, that has like a harpoon attachment. So you can shoot a harpoon and it attaches to your villain and then you can you're, you like fly towards him and do a glory kill or super move. Um, it's a lot of fun. This is like the raid, this is like raid the redemption of video games. It is constant, non-stop action. And to be truthful with you, I play it in small chunks because it's almost too much. Like, I love the game and it's a lot of fun, but it is almost too much. Like, you play a level and you're like, okay, I gotta take a break. <laughs> I gotta take a little break. And the good thing about it, too, this new Doom Eternal, is that it's upgraded from the 2016, you know, you've got some more uh, advanced mechanics. I also feel like it's harder, and that's one of the things that I remember from Doom, uh, like in Doom 1 and 2, is that it would be so frustrating trying to clear a level with half a life and just two grenades and maybe a little bit of armor while swarms of like ram demons are coming at you uh, and you'd have to play it again and again and again and it was frustrating but also rewarding and i feel like doom eternal is the same it can be very frustrating uh, because you get like i said you cannot stop moving this game is constant from the beginning and you don't have time to breathe uh, and that, if there's anything I can say that's a, and I don't even say it's, I don't even want to say it's a bad thing, because it's not a bad thing. It's just like learning how to drive standard, uh, learning how to drive manual transmission, if you ever learn how to, to drive stick shift. It, when you first start, it's miserable, and you're, hey, you hate it, and you're stalling at red lights and stop signs, and you're, duh, 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 you know, the whole time. But once you learn how to do it and it becomes second nature and you're shifting gears and doing all these things and pressing the clutch without even thinking about it, then it's fun. Then you're driving a vehicle. You're in the experience of driving a car. And I think there's a similarity to Doom Eternal in that you have so many things you can do between different kinds of frag grenades, different mods on your weapons, jumps, dumps, dashes, dashes, all kinds of stuff, glory kills, all kinds of stuff going on that you don't really utilize it. And when you first start in the game and you're still learning, you, 
it's easy to pass these things up and it's easy to get frustrated because you don't know what you're doing necessarily. Now, I'm probably about halfway through the game right now and I'm really starting to integrate all these things to where you're like on top of each other, a jump, a dash, a frag, a jump, a sled, this, a this. And so you're starting to really feel like you start, you, like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Only now do I kind of know what I'm doing. And so, it, I, like I said, I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily, that it is so complex in advance that you grow with the game, but it is also not the easiest for the beginner who maybe only knows Doom 2016 or maybe not know any Doom, but have heard about the property throughout this time and, and wanted to give this game a chance because it is, it is an incredible game. It looks amazing. It's fun to play. And once you kind of get off the learning curve of the mechanics, I think you're going to really enjoy it. So Robert Jurdy here, your guide to all things nerdy. Doom Eternal, it's on most of your major uh, streaming services right now, streaming services, but you know what I mean, Xbox One, PS4. I don't think it's on the Switch yet. Um, and then PC as well, so definitely give it a chance if you're a fan of first-person shooters and slaying zombie, zombie undead hell hordes. <laughs> That's how I'm going to end this review right now. So thanks for watching, everybody. Robert Jordy here. Please like and subscribe and comment if you like what you're seeing. And thank you so much for watching. I have more videos on the pipeline coming out, and I found a nice little format I'm working with. So thanks so much for watching and all the support. Robert Jordy here. Have a great evening and take care.